It's me Coast Girl again and today I'm going to be doing another video for you guys. So this video is another story that someone sent me. I've had a lot of viewers sending me stories recently and asking me if I can read them out on their videos. So I'm going to be reading you a story that one of the viewers sent to me today and it's called Mum Averts Danger and um, it's not a real story, it's a, I need to express that it is a completely untrue story that's made up so this is not a real ex experience that happened to someone but um, it is a story that they made up and they've written for the purpose of me reading it today and they said that they'd want me to share it so that is what I'm doing but don't get me wrong but the moral of the story that they're trying to say and the situation that this person like right what about could have happened to anybody and I think what the person is basically trying to say in this story is even though this story is made up, it could happen to anyone and you need to just be like more aware of what you're doing when you're doing things. So anyway, I'm going to read the story. I hope you guys enjoy the story and let's begin. So, forget monsters. People are terrifying. This camping story will solidify that. The following story is the scariest thing I've ever experienced while camping. Bear in mind this story's made up. So I live in Eastern Oregon and my mum lives in Western Oregon. I went to visit her one summer and she is very outdoorsy. We decided to take an hour drive from her city to the coast. We end up at this free campsite at the top of this hill. It was a huge foot of hills of the coastal mountains. About a 25 minute drive from the top to where the main road was. And we were the only campers there. We relaxed for the rest of the day and spent it making food. Then a truck full of men drove up the hill and the men came out the van and started talking to my mum. I don't know what that was about or what they wanted and it wasn't suspicious at the time. Once they'd stopped speaking to my mum, they left. Fast forward to the middle of the night, I wake up to my mum sitting up straight in the tent. As soon as she saw I was awake, she put her hand over my mouth. I tried to ask her what was wrong. It was dead silent and all of a sudden I hear footsteps right outside our tent. The little flap that covers the zipper was even moving. My mum started shouting at my dad to grab the gun even though he wasn't there and it was just the two of us. They left and no harm was done. So I think the motto of that story is guys, whenever you're out camping like with just two girls or just out camping in general, I think you need to be aware of the dangers and always be prepared for every situation and that's not just like the animals in the wildlife or ghosts or spirits and that. What people sometimes forget when 
not watching channel like my channel or they're doing a lot of spirit work or working with spirits and ghosts or the paranormal researchers or ghost hunters is I think one of the things that you need to bear in mind is that you need to make sure that you're safe and that's not from like ghosts or animals and stuff it's actual human beings like human beings are a lot more dangerous than anything like animal like or anything spiritual so that the motto of the story is one thing to bear in mind that when you're doing anything outside or away from your home or in a strange location or even somewhere that you know you need to always be careful what you're doing and be prepared and for any situation that might occur so be careful who you trust and don't trust strangers or anyone that you don't know because you never know who they are you don't know anything about them like you don't know their past or what they've done or what they're capable of or who they are or if they're a war equinimal or not or and you don't you never know what someone's true intentions are unless you like an enlightened spiritual guru and you're able to see everything then you'll probably know what the intentions are but most ordinary everyday people you just never know what their intentions are so just be careful guys like a note from me watch who you're speaking to watch who you're hanging around with because you never know who could be be a psychopath and have murderous intent like even though someone may seem normal they might not be and they might secretly be wanting to do something bad to you so never go off with strangers and I know this sounds like oh what is she talking about we're adults we're not stupid we're not wee bairns but you should be surprised how naive some people can be and just go off with strangers and like something bad ends up happening because they don't actually know the person that they've went off with so just Always be careful, never go off with strangers, always get to know someone first before you go away and like spend like the day with them and that. And if you're like, I know a lot of people do like online dating and, and like meet strangers and stuff, don't even start meeting a lot of people that have been like on online dates and then they've been like raped or murdered or mugged or something. Like if you are meeting someone like on Tinder or something, like always miss somebody or let someone know like where you are and if you've had a if you've got like a bad feeling that something bad's gonna happen and like you don't think you're gonna be safe then don't go that's just what i'm gonna say you have a bad feeling about something don't go listen to your intuition guys it's very important that you do that always follow your gut so anyway guys that is everything for me today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please like this video comment down below subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you'll be notified when my next video comes out i hope you enjoyed this video today guys and goodbye